Welcome to a quarantine edition episode of Take Me Out to the Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Jackson, and I'm sitting here with Jared Kappelman and Charlie Reyes. Jared, how you doing? Yo, great, dude. I'm going to be spending my 21st locked in my room. This is awesome. (laughs) Let's go. Charlie, how's it going, buddy? Doing great, you know, quarantine and chilling in my living room. It's great. Are you back in Florida or are you still in New York? No, no, no. I'm here. I've been here for like two weeks. Dang. I'm so Charlie, Man, I, I, actually no job, no nothing. At ESPN. <laughs> yes. Charlie, tell us a little bit about that. Um, it was a good experience before coronavirus came and swept away sports, but um, met a lot of different people. You know, the talent's cool. Uh, observed a lot of the different shows, NFL Live. Um, uh, what other show? A lot of other shows. Um, I worked mainly in Sports Center at night, which is like really like a big like newsroom where you like everybody's like sixty people sitting together watching games together, and then you're like cutting highlights or doing videos for online or the app, which is like super cool. Um, met the MLB, uh, the, the Baseball Tonight producer. He was cool. Um, this definitely made a lot of connections. You know, what I'm saying there's definitely opportunity for everything that we do for us to be up there, to be honest. And the job is not hard at all. You just gotta work hard. Cause like, like the editing software that they use isn't like, it's not harder than Adobe. I could tell you that much. (laughs) And and what I was doing, we don't, we don't edit. There's actual editors. Like we just put the clips, you know how like when we cut highlights and you just like IO, IO it and you just put it on the timeline. That's all we do. And then we write, and then we write what happens and then we bring it to an editor, like, hey, I want these, I want these uh, cuts done. And hey, I, and then you, like, it's a big team over there. So like, like I say, you need a graphic. I don't make the graphic. I just say what's on it. So you send it to the graphics department, that's on the back. It's like a real big, like, team effort out there. And it's, it's, it opened my eyes to a lot of different things. And I wish we were still doing HTF because I wanted to, like, bring that back to like up uplift the show a bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <clears throat> you talked about coronavirus really sweeping all the sports away. Coronavirus definitely completely swept baseball away. They canceled all spring training games. They're postponing everything. But in the light of postponement, three really big pitchers got Tommy John surgeries, which means they're out for all of this year and probably a decent chunk of next year too. Luis Severino of the Yankees, Noah Syndergaard of the Mets, and Chris Sale of the Red Sox. Jarrett, how do these Tommy Johns affect these teams go for the next couple of years? I mean, next couple of years, because Tommy John, you see it, players either bounce back really well or they're never the same. I would say more often they come back well for a couple of years before something else probably goes wrong and then it's downhill. But it's like, it's kind of like if there was a year to get it, it seems like this year was the year because this is going to be a very scuffed year of baseball. Like, we don't know when the season's starting. We don't know how many games it's going to be. But it's like Chris Sale was has been downhill. You know, last year was rough, el- elbow surgery. So you're almost wondering, is this like the end of Chris Sale's career kind of thing? Because it's been downhill since that World Series, which I know was just two years ago. But – Last year was rough. This whole spring training offseason was question mark. And then for Tommy John, it's like he might not bounce back. Do you think a Chris Sales last year may have been either the start of Tommy John or the start of some other injuries that really uh, derailed his performance? I don't uh, – I almost think it goes back to the World Series year. They used him a lot as they had to. He was the best pitcher in baseball um, in 2018. But um, – I, it's almost like overuse, you know, when they say, like, as a kid, oh, don't do this, don't do that. It's kind of like the Red Sox. They're like, oh, he's an adult, but we can – but forget overusing him. Like, we're still going to do it because we want to win. Yeah, but he's been the pen, like, more than, one, more than once or twice in that postseason, too. I mean, yeah, and you're going on short rest and stuff. I mean, what was his best pitch? A slider. No one could touch it. Not normal. It's going to hurt his arm. So, I mean, I think that and then combination of last year, they probably should should have cut, cut his string earlier and just said, Psh, you're done. But they didn't, and now they're paying the price. So, along with cutting the string, Charlie, Luis Severino also didn't really pitch much last year. And then this year he comes into, comes into spring saying he's going to get Tommy John. As a Yankees fan, what does this mean for your club? Honestly, like, it hurt at first. But, like, we got Cole, so that's all right. And Montgomery's com- Montgomery was coming back, um, which he was coming back from Tommy John. But, um, honestly, I felt like – I felt like something was up last season. They were just saying, oh, you know, inflammation in the, in the rotator cuff or whatever. So, like, 
seeing all that play out now, and then, you know, they were saying, oh, he was struggling with forearm tightness last uh, playoffs. I'm like, you were out the almost the majority of the season. So something must have been up. You know, they said he had, I think it was a partial tear. So it was like, it's good to get out, get that out of the way. We need, we, you know, we signed Severino for what, four years now. So he's going to, he's going to what miss a year. There's going to be two years left on his contract. So like two years for him to do good. I think, you know, we still got him for a decent chunk of change. He's only getting like 10 mil a year. Yeah. So I think we'd be all right. You know, we, we, we got, we got some young guys, you know, I'm not, I'm not really stressed. It sucks, but, um, we still got, we've still got guys in our pitching rotation. So can. me and a couple of my buddies the other day were talking about this whole coronavirus thing might be the best thing that's happened to the Yankees in a while because Aaron Judge is going yes. to uh, be out for a good amount of time and Paxton is going to be out for a good amount of time. And Who's going to be fine? If you have, if you have yeah, not for the first month though. Yeah, I mean, but at the start well, of the season, first, the first have, month would have been rough. Yeah, if you have Stanton know. and Judge healthy and Paxton healthy in that rotation, I mean, that's a game changer. It is, the, but we had, well, we, had, we, we had Montgomery coming back. I think this guy, uh, Luis Sessa, I think they yeah, were going to – Sessa was in there. I, I don't know if he was a reliever or they were going to push him to be more of a starter. I think – and there's some guy named Garcia. Those are the Garcia. young guys that, that were going to be like four or five guys with Montgomery stepping up. I think we would have been fine. We would have been fine with like Cole, Tanaka, Montgomery – you know, uh, Garcia says, uh, or, or, or use green, you know, how with the, with the, yeah. with the reliever starter thing that I think, I think we would have been fine. We would have managed, you know, Boone does a good job of managing those type of situations. Like they dealt with it all last year with all these injuries and with Stanton and judge being out, that's only given time for Talkman and Frazier to step up more on the outfield. Gardner being the vet that he, that he is, he would have like, it would, it would have been fine. We, we literally would have been fine. <laughs> like we, we, it would have been not a big deal. Has you Charlie guys, ever come on to hitting the field though and say that the Yankees weren't going to win the World Series? That this wasn't their year? You expect nothing listen, less. They would have been yeah, fine. After, after 2017, <laughs> you have to, have to bring that energy. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah. I feel like the Yankees can just like grab some kid off the UCF campus, and be like, "Hey, you come here. You're you're going to hit 350 and hit third and hit 10 bombs." It season. makes no sense. Nah, it's the pinch stripes. It is. It's you have to you have to come ready for it because we know guys like remember like Sonny Gray wasn't yeah. ready to come to play in the pinstripes because I remember he came in which is and so crapped, weird crapped the bed because then he went to the Reds and he was dominating all star all star yeah it just makes no the sense all star I don't get it yeah I think sometimes it's the coaching the pressure you know I think it's a lot of different things it's the think, Andy pitchers that's what it is yeah <laughs> I, I think you know I think sometimes it's, you know maybe you guys don't react well with that certain coach like that pitching coach is not gone though yeah yeah he's gone I mean, and our strength and conditioning coach but their yankee players are still getting hurt so i mean it's also play. easier to pitch in the nl versus the al just i mean for sure and the central is eh. the nl central, central is, is trash is, yeah it's the a bunch of mid, it's it's a bunch of mid teams so they uh, they all have a t- like the it always looks like a close race because everybody's so mid-tier yeah, like people about, it's, it's, it's the most competitive division in baseball because all the teams are so bad. Exactly. Like the only team, like okay, the okay the Cubs were good one year, but everyone else was bad. Then last year, or what was it two years ago? The Brewers were good, but the, but the Yelich had a historic season. Yeah, and then St. Louis um, came up last year. But St. Louis is always average. They're always That's like eighty-one thing. and eighty-one every year. Exactly. You're just like, oh. So yeah, they just uh, I don't know. Central. It's, it's, it's Central is a bunch of mid. Yeah, the so, East though. Yeah. The NL East. NL problem. East, best division in baseball, top to bottom. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> top, that. top to four. Because then you get the Marlins. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the the Marlins, right? They're they better should. than the Giants. Well, they're not they're... better than the Giants, but the, the NL West has more weak teams than the AL than the NL East does. The AL East has the Orioles and the Blue Jays, and the Red Sox is going to be eh. The the NL okay. East. Don't sleep on the blue. Don't sleep on the Blue Jays. The, the, NL, okay, but, the Blue Jays are a year or two away from being. But you have what two playoff teams possibly in the AL East, yeah, there's, like there's, for in sure. The in the AL, AL East, the NL East, in the has, NL East four teams, off, four teams could legitimately make the playoffs, well, and I wouldn't be the, surprised. The Mets, the Mets are screwed this year. I mean, yeah. in a hundred games, they have Degrom, they have Mats, they have Porcello and Walker. Okay, I mean, but you don't have Syndergaard. You don't have you don't Syndergaard. Syndergaard was terrible last you year. You don't have Thor. Yeah. Well, was he bad last year because of Tommy John? Was this an he was having issue? He was having elbow problems, wasn't he? Exactly, I think yeah. So, yeah. 
Yeah, but I mean, saying. there's no way that bullpen gets worse. They had the most blown saves in baseball. That bullpen is really bad. That's 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 their problem. But they got a new clo- – wait, who's closing for him this year? They, they, they got Batances. The there's no way Edwin Diaz is that no, no. bad. He was the okay, but, but is Batances going to close? He might. Batances is, is a damn good pitcher. He's, a, he's supposed to, yeah. I don't think he's a closer, though. Can't wait for him to get rocked. I've seen him. I've seen him get rocked in some <laughs> games. He's just throwing ninety eight. It's flat. So, like, so I've I've been reading things um that saying um on Twitter like oh if you know let's say the season let's say the season gets canceled completely Ooh, guys sucks. like Mookie Betts will become a free agent. Uh, the Astro suspension will be like canceled because we technically it was a season. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, that's kind of whack. I don't, I don't really. Nah, like nah, that. there's no way. The Astros, no, 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 no. Was it a full yeah. year or full? Yeah, the, like the like the like AJ Hinch's suspension was, it was a full. A full year. It was a full year, so yeah. he'll come back next. But season. aren't like, isn't baseball sus- operations suspended? So shouldn't his like? Suspension yeah, but they, no. but they, they're, but they're the, saying the like, service time has to go because that's I whack. Trevor, Trevor Bauer and Mookie Betts, you can't uh, extend their them from getting free agency because. Uh, being 29 to 30, that's a big difference in money. And especially being 30 yeah. to 30. Well, I guess you're contractually signed through a year. So yeah. it's not like – unless you stay in the contract. If we have a year where we don't play baseball, you're still under us. And I don't understand. Are the, are, are and MLB have already, have already said that if, if there's no games at all, serve, they'll st- everybody's still going to get a full year of service time. So they're still going to be free. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Which Rookies. Sucks for the Dodgers. If, if the Red Sox got Alex Verdugo, Jeter Downs, and Connor Wong, for Mookie Betts, who didn't even play, and half of David Price's contract. I mean, that's a that's an amazing deal. I don't know. We'll see. It, it, a lot can happen. I mean, honestly, man, who knows? It's, this could all in, just go away next week. Like, not yeah. saying it's gonna happen, but then we yeah. could be playing in a month, kind of thing. Like in, in Toronto, they they banned uh, any sporting events with past June thirtieth. Actually, they so they came out with a memo that that doesn't include sporting events, which is oh, weird. It's so it doesn't? Oh, gonna, it doesn't. But MLB said they're not going to play games until no. they're approved with crowds. So it's like yeah. if Toronto's not allowing crowds, what are they going to do? Play in empty stadiums? No, I don't know. Because this is just such a screwed situation. This is so terrible. It's, Why's that to happen during, like, this season? It could have <laughs> yeah. happened, like, a little later in the year. <laughs> not now. I miss baseball too much. Oh, it's been forever. And, like, to think about it, like, we just had a great World Series. If yeah. you take out the fact that the Astros were, quote, possibly cheating, probably were, but still lost. I mean, uh, the, la- the last, the last, them World cheating, them cheating and then losing the World Series honestly made the World Series better. Losing the like, World Series. Like, after the home. fact, losing all four games at home, you're like, wow, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, we all play baseball. So, I'm going to give you a chance. Uh, Charlie, what's. What's like the funniest thing that ever happened to you while while playing baseball growing up? Uh, funniest thing. Wow. Um, I wouldn't say it's. I think it's funny. Um, uh, definitely went in little in little league. I was playing all stars my twelve year old year, and you know how in little league you can't slide head first, yeah. right? <laughs> so like, um, so okay, so I think the third base gets a ground ball, overthrows first base. Uh, the fat kid hit it. He's running to second. We had this guy gun for a mile. They throw it to the second. I'm playing. I was playing shortstop. I'm at second base. I grab it. I'm like crouching low to get the tag on the feet because I'm thinking he's going to slide. C- kid sees me. I get the ball. He decides to just flop. And then when he flopped, he like it was kind of like a head first slide, but he just flopped on my arm and then broke Ooh. my arm. How's that uh, funny? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's funny because because like um so I was I knew something was up. I was like ah. I was like damn like something's up. So so then I remember I was leading off that inning that next inning I was leading off I was batting fifth, and then um I was like I was like dang man I'm I'm on I remember I went up there I put athletic tape on my wrist. I was like okay so I was like okay. I was like I have no. Uh, Did you know it was broken or we we just? I like, had a feeling because I broke my throwing wrist. 11 months prior so i know what that pain felt like and not having strength in tightening a fist i'm like nah something's wrong but it wasn't as bad as the first time so i'm going up to bat and i'm like man i cannot hold my bottom hand on my bat and i and i remember i went and i, I ran the count full and i was like okay swing i, I hit a single up the middle and i go and i'm running with my holding my wrist 
running, holding my wrist. <laughs> I go to first base. I hit a single. I go to first base. I was like, hey, coach, you got to take me out. All these coaches, this is terrible coaching one-on-one. These guys, no, Charlie, we need you, man. We need you. We need you at short. We need you at short. I was like, coach, <laughs> my, my, I can't catch with this wrist. I can't do it. Like, I'm, I'm getting out the game. I steal second. Boom. Uh, pass ball. Go to third. Tell the coach at third, hey, coach, after I score, I'm getting out the game. And mind you, this is the first, this is the second inning. This is the top of the second. And it's like an elimination game. And I'm like, yo, coach. I, uh, you got to play through it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, play through it. Nothing. I got out the game, man. I got out the game. That's, that's, I, that's the funniest story I could remember. What about you, Jerry? You got any, uh, got any good content? Funny ones from baseball. Um, here's what I haven't told you, Johnny. Cause I've told you, you know, I've told you a lot. <laughs> I've like playing coach pitch. Um, I was, uh, I started, I was batting lead off. Um, that kind of just came out of nowhere. I was just coaching like, Oh, you just get on base all the time. I'm like, all right. And like the next year, so like I played with them the next year and then the next year, like we had to, you know, the repick teams for coach or kid pitch and stuff. So yeah. I started hitting lead all the first 10 games. And, like, I, went, I did bad, like, towards the middle. And then he's like, all right, Jerry, move down the lineup. <laughs> and then one day I'm like, can I just hit lead off again? Uh, I'm tired of hitting, like, eighth. And he's like, all right, I'll put you back up. But if you don't get a hit, you're bad and last for the rest of the season. <laughs> so then my friend's like, coach, I'll bat lead off. He can bat second. I'm like, Julian, you really going to do this right now? I'm like, right, I just want to go back to my spot. <laughs> coach goes, all right, Jerry, you'll hit second. But if you don't get a hit, I'm moving you back to down. First inning, I'm like, oh, boy, I hit one. Hits the chalk. I'm like, oh, please call it fair. Call it fair. Never saw the bottom of the lineup again. <laughs> I was like, dude, bad and eighth. I only get like three at bats a game. I should be getting like four or five batting for. Like, oh, oh wait, wait, actually, I actually got to do. Okay, okay, I got to actually funny story. I, I'm gonna think about that. Uh, junior year, uh, my first year in varsity, district championship. We were down four zero in second inning against the town rival. I I let off the inning. D1 pitcher on the mound. He was going to Bethune Cookman next year. Um, he was throwing like 88. I could not hit his fastball for nothing. He throws me a slider 0-2, <laughs> hangs it. I, I hit a deep single, right? But when I hit it, I'm like amped. I'm like, oh, I, I haven't got a hit. I've hit this guy three times all season. I've never got a hit off him. Even in fall ball, didn't get a hit. Finally get a hit. I'm thinking two out the box. Like, I was always a guy who hustled. Like, I didn't hit, I didn't hit, like, deep, deep doubles. I always hit, like, hustle doubles. This was a deep single. I see a center fielder lollygag to the ball. I'm busting it out, out the uh, box. I'm thinking two. As I take three steps um, out, of, uh, out of first base, after I tag first, I look up. I'm seeing the ball almost hit the cutoff, man. And I'm like, you better oh, get no. back. <laughs> I'm gonna get back. So I don't, I'm thinking, I'm like, this is do or die. And it's, this is, I might ruin the spark of the inning for our comeback, right? So then, uh, I'm, I, I keep going. I run, I run, I run. Boom. Uh, he bobbles the cutoff man, bobbles it, throws it back to second. I slide head first. I remember he threw a bat, a bad, uh, a bad ball. It bounced and it hit my helmet and it like it went away. And I remember, I, I remember, um, the crowd screamed. And I, I did, I don't know what got into me. I was at second and I was like, oh, like I was like King Kong. <laughs> and then that was like my, you know, when people hit doubles, people have like a thing. Yeah. yeah. My senior year, that was my thing because of that game. Okay. <laughs> so we ended up winning the game uh, seven to six, right? Uh, at the end of, end of the game, coach giving us a speech. I'm in almost in tears because our coach was like, you guys aren't going to win the district championship. Yada, yada, yada. And, and, and I know like I, that, okay, that inning, we scored five runs. So we went up five to four that inning. So I was like the spark. So spark. you know, what he, said to me? You know, you know what he said to me, he said, Charlie, if you got thrown out at second, yeah. I would have kept you on the team. <laughs> like, you would have not on the team next year. Season would have been over. Who cares? <laughs> No, so, uh, so I was about probably like uh, 14 at this time, like probably seventh or eighth grade. Uh, I was on third. There was, so I was in, it was like rec ball. My travel team was playing rec ball for a season, just to, like get some reps. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just play rec ball and win the championship. <laughs> feel good about ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so it was, I was, I was on third base. Uh, we had another kid who was on second base and we had a kid um, coach, like, like being the first base coach, but he was wearing a helmet. So I thought he was on first base, 
So the pitcher walks the batter. And so I'm on third base. I stand. I think you walked him. I think it's safe to go. So I just start walking home. <laughs> I bet you were fine until someone started screaming, Johnny, what are you doing? Because I swear that always works. <laughs> no, so I'm, I like touch the plate, right? I'm safe. The catcher uh-huh. doesn't even move. And then okay. everyone just – my, my coach didn't say anything. So we get back in the dugout. My coach goes, you are so lucky. That kid's an idiot. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone would have said anything, I would have kicked your butt and said he's home walking. And I'm just, like, I'm just like, what do you mean? He walked him. I was safe. He's like, there wasn't a guy at first. I was like, what do you mean? Jack? I was like, oh. Oh, oh, nobody moved. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Bro, stealing home's the best feeling. That's I like on our, uh, what was it? Junior year in uh fall ball. My coach, like I was like, I'm just trying to trying to get a starting spot here, you know. Fall season doesn't matter, just you know, impress coaches, back, get back, a starting spot. Yeah. So my coach goes, I hear like it's like our first fall game and our the catcher's like lobbing it back to the pitcher, and I hear my coach, like one of our coaches, Scott, he goes, Yo, Troy. He's like, and he like makes like a little like lob throw, and then my coach leaves me. Like, he's like, Jay, you saw that? I was like, Yeah. He goes, He's like, If you want it, I was like, Bet next pitch, literally, kid lobs it there, steal home, and <laughs> literally, we got smoked that game, like eleven one. I was the only runner. And post game, coach goes, Jared was actually aggressive. Look at what happens when we actually play guys. I'm like, Ah, aha. <laughs> there you go. Aha, I did Thanks, it, coach. <laughs> Thanks, that's me. Yeah, so, but like, I'm like lifetime against like D one good pitchers. Pretty good, pretty good statistics. Yeah, anyone else? I'm no pretty chance. terrible. Uh, Jordan Butler. I stopped being able to hit when I was like 14, so it just made me a PO. Bro, I'm like three for three <laughs> lifetime <laughs> off of uh, UF pitchers. Ooh, Fun fact. Really? So uh, SEC oh. rivals, pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we we've all played baseball, but we've all also umpired baseball. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's been a while. I'm broke. <laughs> Charlie, you got you got any good umpire stories? Okay, so first time I ever uh, umpired, like I used to umpire um, old men softball, but the first time I ever did t-ball, man, those listen, parents are t-ball, rough. those rough. parents are rough, bro. T-ball, <laughs> t-ball bro. I thought so I like, had it back. Nah, bro. So we was doing t-ball, but they had like a little differentiate the rules a little bit, and I was like, okay, I, they had to tell me, and I was like, all right, and then um. We're playing, and one of the team is undefeated. One of the team is, like, a bottom feeder team. I'm like, it's T-ball. Who cares? It's T-ball. Who cares, <laughs> right? But this team, this coach, he's, like, he's like super into it or whatever, whatever. So, like, as we're going, we're going. Um, uh, they tag. Okay, so, like, I think they, um, they throw the ball to third, and they tag the dude out and like in front of the base. The coach comes up to me, pissed. Oh, my God, is that not obstruction? I was like, obstruction? The kid's out. What are you saying? <laughs> and and then it was ended up being like a tie, right? Or, or it was like a close game. And they wanted to go to like extras. I was like, it's T ball. Like, <laughs> you know, like what what's going on? And then um, and at the end, um, the parents got into it in the stands. One of the coaches slapped the mom. And I was like, whoa. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Parking lots that way. <laughs> I'm out that, here. That's where you take a cooler. You just run. Don't look at yeah, anything. man. They gave me that yeah, envelope with that ninety five dollars. <laughs> I didn't even care. I did two T ball games, and I was the second one. I was like, nope, I'm good. Go take me back to girl softball. They chilling <laughs> over there. Uh, Jared, you, it's, oh, it's, dude. it's 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 time to let him know. So Jared. Uh, finally had his out. first ejection. I think two. two out. <laughs> In a machine pitch game. What is it? 8U, 9U? I think it was 9U, oh but like God. one of the teams was 8U playing up and the team was 9U. Machine pitch is 8U. So, so we've had at, both at, of those. At the oldest, they're 8. Yeah. I, eight. But either way, it's like – so one of these teams – I've umpired like all the time, like they play like in all the tournaments, and the other team like maybe once or twice. We've but, definitely like, had them before. Yeah, so it's a it's a consolation game, losers round, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> We're done after this. This is their last game of the day. They already lost. Um, we, we call, we call um, it the biggest loser in the business. <laughs> yeah, so it's like games are an hour fifteen. Um, so they go quick, you know. It's four. I, the game pace keeps up, but. Yeah. The coaches always love to try to play with the machine because, like, oh, it's not throwing strikes, it's not doing this. 
coach is trying to touch it. I'm like, hey, coach, like, first inning, I was like, hey, like, hey, let's not touch it. It's on the right setting. Like, I've used it for my first two games. I'm like, there's no need. I'm like, hey, it's just throwing bad. Like, just a, just a little pin, make it throw better. I'm like, well, let's not, like, mess with the settings because, one, I don't know the settings, and nor do I care about the setting. <laughs> um, but then this coach is like, oh, he's like, oh, my bad. And he's, like, touching it. But then, like, while he's touching it, and the other coach is like, hey, don't touch it. I'm like, hey, I got it under control, coach. Like, maybe, like, the first inning. So, you know, whatever. Then it's like the fourth inning. Machine's kind of thrown bad. Like, I noticed it, but I'm like, I don't care. Then the coach goes, hey, can I move it? Like, I got – I'll move right back. I said, nah, coach, let's, let's not do that. Like, the other coach not going to be happy with that. Like, I don't – I'm telling him, like, I don't care. But I'm like, he's not going to be happy. And he's, like, touching it. And while – he's, like, he's doing this. He's, like, one of those, like, hey, can I eat, like, while you're eating kind of thing? Like, one of those. Like, he's, like, doing it. Like, hey, can I touch – adjust it while adjusting it? So – He's adjusting it. I'm like, oh, no, don't. And he's like, oh, okay. So he's, like, literally moving it back. And the coach comes running out. Yo, what the bleep are you doing, man? Keep in mind, ate you. Ate you. Ate you. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't touch my machine. I'm like, coach, I had it under control. He touched it, but he's putting it right back because he realized he couldn't do that because I told him. He goes, no, I'm sick of this. And then next thing you know, F-bombs are flying. I'm like, I'm like yo, all right, we're done. And so I'm literally, I'm like, you know what? It was one from each. I'm like, probably should have tossed in there, but I was like, you know what? All right. So the one coach starts walking back to the dugout. The, this, the team, the losing coach is like walking back. And all of a sudden, like, he's like, the coach I was touching, he's like, don't come at me like that. And he, these coaches turn around. What the, did you just say to me? And actually, you know, they both just start cursing each other out. I'm like, all right, that's it. Coaches gone both of you <laughs> literally just like that and, and in then, the middle of this i'm on the, i'm on the field next to him i just hear a bunch of yelling you're hearing so, yelling yeah so I, I turn <laughs> around <laughs> and i just see jared <laughs> <laughs> i'm like get out and then well, no, no it gets worse it gets worse because the losing team's parents are like you have no control over this game what is going on you you're so biased i'm like it's a loser's bracket game I already got paid by both teams. I don't care who wins. I still have another game after this, so I really don't care who wins or loses. I'm like, I, if anything, I'm being fair about this. I threw out both coaches when realistically I probably should have only thrown out one for starting it, for saying it first, and then nothing happens. But I'm like, literally all this is happening then. like, the, I literally call the game five minutes over because the parents just wouldn't stop yelling at me. So I'm yeah. like, all right, hey, ball game, time's up. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, time's up. Timer just went off. No, it's, the, the, parents don't, <laughs> the parents don't realize that we just don't care. Yeah, yeah, they don't. No, they think we care. So I'm literally getting my stuff leaving, and these parents are cursing me out. But in the meantime, someone's already gotten the tournament director because they're trying to file a complaint against me for being biased and stuff. So, like, someone got the tournament director. The tournament director is standing there while these parents are cursing me out. And then the parents go, well, we were cursing at the umpire. What do you mean? She's like, I'm standing right here listening to you. I had to stop the <laughs> participation ceremony because you wouldn't stop. That was it. I mean, oh my all my bad experiences come from machine pitch. I hate machine pitch. I'm, you I, know, I, I always did, Um, when growing up, I never did machine pitch. It was, it went coach pitch coach and then, pitch. Pitch, then pitching. Yeah. And the coach pitch was like, like back in New York, the coaches were like underhanded. I'm like, if you were good, they were overhanded, but they were like underhanded just to like, for you to hit it. Like, Man, I'd be hitting bombs. Did you, yeah. did you ever actually like, – were they behind the screen or did one, one kid eventually just, like, smack a – Honestly, right we definitely – there was no screens. We I'm like, it's New York. There's no – <laughs> 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 we, we definitely sock coaches in their head, bro. We definitely hit coaches in the gut. They would try to, like, jump out the way so that we could play the position. But, like, I remember, like – and then back then you would have – I don't even think they did it by outs. Like, you would do it like you got to have six kids hit or yeah. whatever. Me and my brother, we would play middle infield. We would roll double plays all day. <laughs> it was good times. Getting six outs in an inning? Jeez. Yeah, literally. The, the, the two kids in the field that could catch a ball right at him? Man, we went out. Yo, when I, once I was like seven, I didn't like to throw to bases because I knew the kids would drop it. I would go chase ball. Good times. <laughs> Can't team with scrubs. That's yeah, all I got to say. <laughs> Always, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, I stopped nah, I only had for a, good a team years. of scrubs one year, and, and then the coach was – the coach hated me, but I was his best player. And he, <laughs> and he, he always – he said I was a cancer to the team when I made All-Stars. But it, in reality, it was because I never knew what it felt like playing on a crappy team. So, like, I would get, I would get angry. I would throw my glove. 
Probably. I didn't know what it was like to play on a winning team. Yeah, like they would, <laughs> the weird, they would blow games and get teams we should beat. And at the end of the game, I was pissed. I'm like, I win three for three with four RBIs. Guys, we got to do better. <laughs> like when you when yeah. once you start feeling like that, like bro, like I can't I can't do anything else. Bro, I told my coach on that too. I was like. I'm like, because I'd hit lead off forever. I'm like, dude, I got to move to third. He's like, why? I said, because for the small chance that someone gets on before me, I need to drive them in. Because me getting on base and getting on third with no outs and not scoring can't happen. I'm like, <laughs> someone else got a bad lead off. I'm like, I don't my, care who. My first bad team experience, I the first game of the season, we're facing the defending team, the league champs. I left the game in the fifth inning. We were winning nine to three. Oh, we that's lost, a no. We lost 11 to nine. I was like, wow. Trash. Wow. Trash. That's it. How do, no, I trash pitch, team. how do I pitch five innings and we lose in the last one inning? Because it's young baseball and kids yeah. suck. And Oh, hey. Woo, lollipop. <laughs> Yo, that's the worst wow. umpire behind the plate when they can't throw the ball. Oh, oh like, my God. My, God. my the first – my, Yo, my first time behind the plate. Coach is like oh. – Coach is nowhere close. Or the kid is nowhere close. And the coach is yelling at me, dude, call a strike. I'm like, look, it's, it's either tomorrow. all the way up or in the dirt, and anything close is getting slapped. I'm like, look, I'm trying. I'm trying my best, Coach. There's a lot of bad leagues out there, man. Me and Jarrett yeah. oh, had yeah. a game. It was the, – the final score was something like – it was like 31 30, to two. 31 – was it 31 to 2? In two innings, right? Wasn't it like in 31 two innings. Two? What? The game took gotta, over the, – the game went over time damn, in two innings. No, because they were just stealing. Was, was this crazy. travel ball? Yeah. yeah. Oh, bad. no wonder. Because I'm like, man, bad. in the small field, we definitely had – in Little League, at least, we had the rule of, like, if you hit five runs, you got to Yeah, sides. we have it too, but not in kid pitch. Yeah. Oh, true. It yikes. So, it's so annoying. Like, you're just sitting here, and I'm like – this that was the longest two innings, like, literally. Like, it took, like, an hour and, and a half. And Jared the plate for all of it. I felt so bad. I'm just like – and I was at first base. I was getting ready to give the kid outs. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, if you catch this ball first baseman, I'm going to give you the out. We've done that before. <laughs> He's like, okay, okay, okay. Literally, he has. Do you remember this? He has the ball. He has his hand up. Ball. He just hits it in the chest, <laughs> and it just goes down. I was like, I was like, oh my yeah. god. Yo, remember one of the last ones we did? It was like, it was like, I think it was early February. But like this team, it was our last game of the day. Um, this team was up by eight. They needed two more for run rule, and this kid lays a bunt down. And he is out at first, but I just like blanked out. I'm like, safe. Oh my god! And the yeah. coach is like, "Come on!" At, at what? New, I was like, Smyrna? "Yeah, yeah." I'm like, uh, I was like, "Yeah, he's safe. He beat, he beat the throw." I was like, "I don't know." Next kid, it's a home run. Mercy rule. We're out of there. I'm like, "Yo, I didn't even realize. I didn't even know that it was gonna be run rule." But next kid hit a bomb. And the guy's like, "Ball game." I'm like, "Let's go, let's go. We're out. Okay." Like thirty if minutes. I, if I hit, if if I hit a hit or a uh, uh, home run as a mercy rule, I call that I I consider that a walk off. It is. A oh walk-off. yeah, it is a walk off. It is a walk off. <laughs> it is a walk off. <laughs> like what is it? A walk home? Like it's a walk off. Walk off. Game's over. You ended the game because you hit. My my, my, la- my last game of high school was a playoff game. The kid hit a walk off grand sl- well, a, a, a a mercy rule grand slam. Oh, I got oh, walked okay. off on in thirteen innings in the yeah. district championship. Oh, or no, uh, regional champs. Regional go champs. To, yeah, go to states. That's hard. Yeah. We, we, oh, we yeah. lost so lo- our district game. We lost one. We lost one nothing. So we had bases loaded, two outs. Uh, and this kid, uh, I was just like, well, I was watching because I was a PO and I pitched like the day before or something. So this kid hits like this absolute seed, like right between uh, first base and second base. Uh-huh. This this second baseman makes the greatest play I've ever seen in my life. Like dives, like rolls. And then throws the kid out at second, like like falling down. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life when we lost. I was just and like, that kid grew up to be Derek Jeter. No, I just, I was just like, <laughs> I couldn't even believe it. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, like I couldn't. I was waiting for like this kid grew up to be. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I, only person I, I can say that to is the guy in the in the Dodgers, Edwin Rios. I definitely watched him hit two home runs off my high school. That man is oh, absolutely – I saw him in Miami. The guy's absolutely massive. He's, and he just, yeah, he's tall. He, he, he was tall. He, he, was, he was just skinny. He was the same – around the same height, but just skinny. 
Do you like, play here, in South Florida? You play with so many kids that go pro. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Like, bro, so I played with Tristan Casas, who was drafted 26 overall out of high school for the Red Sox. I played with Mark Vientos, who was, like, 50th overall in the Mets organization. Played against Jeter Downs. Played against Colton Welker. Played against uh, Jesus Lazardo. Um, I've seen uh, Melendez. Yeah. Yeah. Was he th- Yeah. Was, was he throwing, like, hard, hard uh, to you? No, he didn't pitch that game. He had Tommy John that year. But, like, oh, we played his team. Like, I've seen him pitch. Like, I saw him pitch the day before, and literally the next day he got Tommy John. Like, he oh. got hurt that game. First game of the season, opening tournament. That sucks. But, um, you know, Colin Walker. Um, Mel- you know Melendez, the catcher? Oh, uh, MJ? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Played against him. I and saw him at a party one time. That whole team, like, uh, Clunin, like, uh, so many kids. Like, uh, tri- uh, was, uh, Terrell, all those kids in Miami, like, pretty much played against all of them. And then you're like, wow, what happened to me? Yeah, right? I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was just aggressively, <laughs> me aggressively uh-huh. mediocre. That's how I described myself. I'm an adult, adult league legend. I peak sophomore year. <laughs> <laughs> really? I peak sophomore year. I, I feel like I, in high school, I never had a peak. Cause <clears> I, like my senior year, I struggled like the first half of the season. I think I hit like 230. And then the second, I think after spring break, I went off, but then we didn't do we didn't do anything like playoff a lot. Like we lost in the second round of the playoffs. I hit three ninety eight. I can, you know, you can always pull up stats because it still exists. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, try to pull up the uh, Jared, Jared, Jared's uh, perfect game stats. Perfect game stats. Was? Those are my yeah. favorite stats. No, the stats suck. Um, my my sophomore or my junior was terrible. Um. Junior year, you know what's crazy? I only hit like ten percent more better my senior year than my junior year with way more at bats my 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 senior year. I was twenty one for fifty three senior year. I don't know what that math is. I'm not good at math. That's a uh, lot. Three, That's like four three ninety six. I'm not yeah. doing too hot in college algebra right now. That's a lot. Right, college algebra is easy. It's bro. easy, but it's all online right now. I got to make sure. Johnny said things. college you heard, algebra. You heard of math like, way? That was like five years ago for me. You heard of math way? You heard that's of the clutch. lockdown browser? True. Okay. That's a, that's a thing? Understandable. I didn't yeah. know that was a thing. Yeah. Can't huh. relate. <laughs> yeah, I was throwing on the team in RBIs that year, and I literally played, like, half the games. With how many? Really? Like, four? Nah, like, man. My junior, <laughs> my junior year, I did – Um, they, they, they DH'd me a lot because they, they, thought, they thought the right fielder was a better fielder than me, but I would, he was a terrible hitter, and I would hit for him. Oh, it feels bad. Yeah. Oh, that's where you play the field that's, and get DH for it. And yeah, right. That's terrible, right? So like, I was like, whatever. Like, I, I like mid middle of the season, I was I was I was technically starting most of the games, but I was DHing. But I was like, whatever. Like, I would I would I I definitely had my clean share. Of, I think I had like uh, eighteen RBIs that year coming off the bench. My first year in varsity. Like, my on base was four ninety three senior year. See, that's good. That's solid. I remember I, I hit uh, – my goal for senior year was du- double-digit doubles. Like, I wanted at least 10 because I think I hit, like, six my junior year, and I think I hit, like, 11 my senior year. I had one home run, and it was, like, our first home game of the season. I hit a grand slam, and that was yeah. it. <laughs> I hit the fence so many other times. And I was like, Bro, I almost I, – almost my – was it? I almost – was it junior or senior? Senior year, I almost hit a home run twice. But junior year, I never came close. But senior year, twice, I hit out – I warning track two balls and I was so hyped. <laughs> Though the first one was like the third game of the season and the bases were loaded and I oh, and I and I, and I hit the bottom of the gate. I thought it was gone. It was awful too. It was like um like right center. I was like, oh man. I remember like I didn't start playing until like halfway through the season. Like I like split time with this kid and he was a sophomore. And I split time with this kid and I told him coach, I'm like, bro, why am I splitting time? Like I'm better. Yeah. My splits are better. He was a lefty hitter. I was right I'm like, but my splits are better. And he's like, well, if it was up the fall. You wouldn't even be playing. I was like, bet. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, <laughs> then I took over that season. Like, I literally – so I worked my way up from batting ninth in the lineup, literally all the way up to clean up. <laughs> Bro, I, n- I never batted uh, uh, up, upwards of five in high school. Dang. And that well, – in, in, in varsity. In varsity. That year I batted everything except one two. I batted three. I batted all the way from nine to three that year. You you know what's crazy? I feel like I understand the mechanics of my swing better today than I did in high school. Oh yeah, because you just have more time. Like especially with all like the data coming out, like all these cameras and stuff. It's like yeah, incredible yeah. with how much. It's not even. It's see. not even that. Like I, I I just think like I don't know. I just wasn't like batting wise in high school. I just felt like I wasn't that comfortable. 
If I just wasn't an it. idiot, I would would have been better. I just couldn't lay off a high fastball. <laughs> Literally, anything like a coach like above nah, the hands, don't swing. I'm like, all right, easy. I see it above the hands. I'm like, ooh, that's a home run. Hey, well, yeah. For me, it was like it was like if I would have practiced more, I would have been better. But it, also, I didn't really care that much about baseball, especially in like high school. So I was like, Fair. if I would have if I would have cared, I would have practiced. But I didn't nah, practice because I you didn't. You throw me a you throw me a good curveball, good <laughs> slider. <I'm- laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look silly up there, dude. The first, t- the first time you see a curveball, you're like, it just, it then just feels like it's buckle. cheating. It feels like it's cheating. I swear yeah. to God, because it's just a fastball. You swing, you're like, oh no. Yeah, Charlie, have you ever had a better game in your life than your cycle game? No. So your cycle <laughs> game's your best game. That's, that's, that's still that's crazy. That's that's up here. The crazy I mean, it has to be. <laughs> that the crazy part about it, I've okay, I've had. The good crazy part I've, about it is that I blessed your bat the night before at Alehouse. You feel me? I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I was taking practice swings in the parking lot. <laughs> there was, there was like, he was like, wait, Jared put it back in my thing. He was like, now nah, you got good luck. Yeah. And the next, the next, <laughs> next day, day, next day, he's like, yo, I hit the cycle, my bro. <laughs> no, what? you know what's crazy? The best game, um. Growing up, I had was at a Disney tournament where, like, I went like I went uh, four for five. Was it like freezing when we went to Disney? Every time we went to Disney, nah, nah, it, nah, was nah, nah. it was freezing. It was I played I played those tournaments, but it was summertime. I was playing national, yeah, and we faced some team from Rhode Island, bro. And I I was batting lead off. I was using a combat. Oh, the ca- uh, sk- the, sk- wait, the light blue, the light blue. No, 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 no. The, oh, the, okay. the, the, the silver B. The silver. The oh, big okay, one? okay, okay. The big yeah, yeah, the, the big barrel. Oh, one. <laughs> the yeah. yeah. That bat killed all the cheap. kid. That they were all the cheat kid. codes. That thing was like a drop five, man. Those bats were all cheat codes. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, and then I freaking bro. I was just, I don't know that day. I don't know everything was 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 a dinger. I don't know like my first hit. I hit two triples and two doubles. And I was hitting, like, my first hit was the furthest, bro. And I was playing in, like, their practice field. So they would manually, like, put gates because it was, like, an open field. So, like, that, that center field gate was, like, 400. And the one on the side was, like, 390. And I, I like, one bounce to 391. And I was, like, in my, when I was a kid, the best, um, like, the best game, like, furthest hit I ever hit. But definitely in adult league, yeah, that was definitely my best game. Just because it, it made it, – it felt the best because I hit the home run last. And I wasn't up there trying to hit a home run. It just happened. Good grace of God. Bro, I, I'm trying to think, like, what bat's, like, the best bat I ever used. Uh, me I've in used hi- so many. In high school, I'm big D Marini guy. I was Easton, so I like the five one five was my favorite. Or no, 50, Louisville, 50, 50, the, 50 the Louisville was solid. The Louisville Sluggers, those were the best. Uh, what was for the, BB what, Corp. What, Bro, what the was Prodigy the, though, like the Prodigy what, for what kid was the pitch. The Louisville Slugger that I like, oh, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I remember there's like a, there's like the a B, dark... the V12s though, the Easton V12, all the V series were really the cherry good. bombs. Bro, remember remember right before they did BB Core, there was the the Easton Stealth. Yes. Oh man! They and had the that TPX. like, yeah, oh, bro. They man. had that like trampoline effect. Like any yeah. kid who came up there just raked. We had one of those that we'd use in BP just to screw yeah. around. Yeah. Ball oh, flew. God. That ball flew. I was uh, that that bat was literally hurting kids. No, I agree. That bat got oh, banned, like, right? Because like a kid, yeah, like, yeah, didn't yeah. Kid, like, die? Yeah, kid got hit in the know. head. Nah, kid, a kid like he, like he he took a line drop to the head, run died. <laughs> bro, what? Are you yeah. Time out. Whoa. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious, bro. That's why. Yeah, no. Yeah, it was like it was in like uh what? It was in like uh, Connecticut or something, right? Or like I don't Carolina. know where it was. I just heard about it and I was like, "Damn." And then there was like, "Oh, they're bringing I remember I bought a Beezer bat right the year before we went to BB Core and my dad said, "I'm never buying you another bat again." Nice. Yeah. Nice, yeah. 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 And That's... and then you and then they went away like just when I was working at Academy a few years ago they went away from BB Core and then it, it, it's the same bat but like you know how bat companies so you don't yeah. so you have to buy a new bat they're like oh you have to buy this bat with this sticker on it now oh yeah, it's yeah, a yeah scam. the scam the BB Core or no, the yeah U- the U S A whatever all right so were you guys like superstitious like do you have like a routine yes. you did yes for sure for sure what was your routine. Jared, go. Oh, okay. So, well, there were times where it's like, I'll never forget. This was like Coach, wait, was it? Yeah, Coach Pitch. I uh, had dinner. You know, we played Friday, Saturday. You know, had dinner. Um, mm-hmm. We had, had like steak, like just like beef or whatever. And I, I hit my first home run. 
And so for breakfast the next day, I ate that again and then hit another home run. <laughs> but no, there'd be times where, like, you know, I'd always, like, I'd show up to the field, like, I'd wear a sleeve, but, like, you know, there's one game, like, I didn't put the sleeve on until game time and I played really well. So I'd do that until I started playing bad. Like, this I wouldn't guy. wash my sleeve if I had a bad game. I wouldn't, I would wear the, like, if we were in a tournament. Jared's not, sleeve smelled like butt. Like, oh, <laughs> yo, facts. They said, in, they, they said in my bag, bro, I had to sleep with my gear. Like, what? That's, that's bad luck. Oh, yeah, they did smell bad. My mom's like, dude, what is wrong with that? Like, I can't wash it. I had a good game. Like, what are you doing? Like, I literally, yeah, I'll never forget. Like, once she washed my sleeve and I had a good game the day before, play bad again, mom, it's your fault. She's like, why? I said, you washed my sleeve. I'm like, gotta wash it again now. Gotta wash it again. Gotta wash off the bat. I'm very superstitious. Nah, no, no, no. Wash off the bat. Nah, I had yeah. like different superstitions growing up. So, like, I wouldn't kid, wash my, like, if we're in a tournament, I wouldn't wash my pants. Like, if we played well, coach said, oh, yeah, let's wear the same pants next time. I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, as a kid, I would, um, I would crack, uh, crack my fingers and my neck but right, be right before I go to the plate. And then every time, like, when a pitch, you know, like, in between pitches, I would come back out, crack my neck again, and come back into the plate. Kids used to know me in the league as the kid who, who cracks his neck. Dude, when neck cracking freaks me out that. so Dude, bad. That's the yeah, best so feeling. I would sit like, there and just be like, crack, crack, ta ta, double tap the plate. Yeah, and then, I, had, I had a home plate routine, too. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then in high school, I would just sit there, like, 20 minutes before, like, the game and just take pregame swings. Just sit there like in the bat and on deck circle and just swing. Like to like take like real swings. Just like boom. Like act like I'm timing something. Swing. Boom. Swing. Boom. That, 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 in high school that's all I really did. But. No, so um <clears throat> so I drove like so I am um, one time I had to, I had to pick my friend up and then he uh like we both had really good games. Like like I pitched like five innings. Gotta pick like, no him runs. up the rest of the year. I picked him up the rest of the season. And we took, like, the same way to, to go. And, like, we always got, like, the same thing at Chick-fil-A before, like, home games. Like, so I got, like, the spicy, the grilled spicy, which is the best thing in the menu by far, Chick-fil-A. It was always okay. the grilled spicy, and he, he got the nuggets. We got that every day, like, every game for the whole year. And it was, it was expensive. Bro, it's just, like, baseball <laughs> players are so superstitious. They're just so weird. Thanks, man. And and in, in my in, uh, in my run when we went to uh, junior year when we went to um, the regional finals that was the same year uh, DR won the World Classic for the World Baseball Classic you know how they would bring like the platano so like once we won um once we started um, the district championship I mean the district like playoffs I brought one every game <laughs> and then, and then we started winning and there was a like, keep bringing it keep bringing it and then one day I'm terrible. Right before the district, I mean, regional final, I That's left it in my bag. I already know you lost. And it, and it, and it, yeah, <laughs> it lost. It turned black. It turned black. And I was like, damn, the guys are going to hate me. And, it, and I threw it away. And then I threw it away. And then I grabbed another one. But it wasn't the same platino. And then we lost. Yeah, no, that's your fault. So it's all my fault. That is your fault. Like, I yeah. just know to blame for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The team could have just been better. It was your fault. All right. So uh, if y'all have a son, right, does he have any choice but to play baseball? No, he has no choice. No choice. <laughs> no choice. I don't – He I, honestly, I'm going to give – okay, one, he's not playing football. If no. He, if he wants to play no. the middle school, like, flag, I'm all for it. Have fun because I did the same thing. But, like – basketball we could do it when you're not in spring baseball if you want you can skip you I, when they're kids i'm gonna let them skip fall ball if they want to play another sport but yeah. you're not playing football no, i don't then, i don't want to let my kid play football till at least high school there's too much bro i'm not letting him play too football much period bro you're not getting cracked in the skull bro it's, it's not happening like i'm not gonna be paying your medical bills because you want to be a blocker like nah, she's so, you, she, quarterback or nothing yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like <laughs> kicker or nothing. Kicker or nothing. <laughs> kicker or uh, nothing. I'll let my kid play football. I don't care. They can play whatever. Nah, nah, um, nah, I nah. picked my sport, so I mean, I don't really care if they want to play. They just don't do an aquatic sport. No, no. Honestly, I don't like bro, swimming. I, I'm only doing sports that that could bring, not even bring you money, but could bring you a a true college scholarship. Like if my daughter wants to cheerlead, I'm gonna be like, honey. Nobody's giving girls. <laughs> that ain't gonna pay the bills. That ain't gonna pay the bills, baby. Like no. Play basketball. Play basketball. 
Yeah. yeah, and the thing is, like, I'm, I don't come from a tall family. And, bro, mm-hmm. you got to be tall to play basketball. I don't care how good oh, yeah. you are. Like, like you got you, you gotta be tall, bro. Like, you could be five. You gotta be, and, to be a guy, you have to be, like, six, two minimum. 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 That's, like, that's even, like, short. Like, you got to be, like, six, six. Like, exactly. you want to get a scholarship at all. Exactly. You, you know, you, the, college is different. You can get a scholarship and be, like, six, one. Yeah. Like, six, For foot, sure, like, but you got to have, you got to have. Yeah, a little white guy handles. that just shoots threes, bro. You got to be so much better than everybody else if you're Every not, college right? basketball, Actually. but every college basketball team has that one white guy that just trains threes. But is, yeah. he, on, but is he on scholarship? Probably. We don't know. He could, you know, partial, but I'm He's probably that. half, half, half that and, like, probably other half, like, uh, prepaid and scholarship for academics. It's possible, you know what I'm saying? But, like, nah, bro. Honestly, bro, there's a – for me, I was kind of raised where, like, I didn't know what another sport was. Like, I knew what other sports were, but, like, I was never taught how to play them. So, yeah. I, that's the same trick I'm going to use with my son. What is that? Oh, that's just a version of baseball, but that's not the yeah. version of baseball we play. <laughs> exactly. Like, I didn't know how to properly – I didn't know all the rules of basketball until I turned, like, eight. So, like – and then I played in, like, a YMCA league. So, yeah. like, as a kid, I would always spend time at the field, at the field, at the field, because my dad played, like, softball. And on the weekends, we would go to the fields, and, like, all the all – the, all the players' kids would, like, play on, like, an empty field, and we'd play, like, pick-up baseball. And then, so, pick like... baseball that, game, that's the most fun thing. You just come up to see a couple yeah. of your like, let's, let's go, let's go. I can, I, can go to, I can tell you 100 fights I got into over pick That's how baseball. you settle it. That's how you settle I've it. You never, yeah. kid, th- throw one right throw one right in here. Yeah, He's bro. Done. I've never done that, like, pick-up baseball. Like, it's like, cool. Like, it's, ball. It's yeah, but not baseball. Jared, nah, you didn't bro, grow like, up in the boonies, baseball. bro. You didn't grow up in the boonies at all. Nah, bro. Pick-up baseball is lit because my, my dad was a baseball coach, and we used to keep the bases in the trunk. So we would we we'll be the kids that have all the equipment. So you try us, we'll kick you off the game. Be like, yo, we're not playing with you. We're not playing with you. You're out of here. And we but just yeah, practice bro, like, like four days a week. So we was like, we didn't even have time. It's like, oh. I feel that. But no, like honestly, bro, like like my son is gonna get a, a glove and a ball growing up. We're gonna teach him how to feel. I'm a he gonna be a switch hitter early. Yo, early. right, right. Yes, early, I wish bro. I was a switch hitter. I wish I was a switch hitter. Bro, my dad dropped the ball, bro. Once I started no, getting okay, yep. like. Yep. You are getting to these big tournaments, and the, the, you you say you're a switch hitter. You're like you're automatically, stock, automatically D two here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yo, psh, story, over like, the radio. There's a switch hitter. My back made him throw righty and made him hit lefty. They Bro, come over like the radar. Yo, there's there's a there's a switch hitter on field. Being three. a switch hitter and is like being a lefty. Scouts. Yeah, being a switch hitter is like being a lefty pitcher. Nice. Like, oh, le- lefty. They'd be like, oh, lefty pitcher. Oh, let's see. Check. What does he throw? Seventy six curveball. Is he crafty? Oh. Check that Duke. box, crafty. <laughs> Juco. <Juco's. laughs> did he get absolutely raked that game? Yes, but did he pick off two out of two kids? Crafty. <laughs> no, y'all see we'll that commercial for like the Mariners, where it's like where it's like the, the crafty lefty convention, and they're all like making paper fireworks and stuff. <laughs> ah, oh, the Mariners. I wish. Man, I wish. who's 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 the fat guy in the Mariners who just Vogelbach? Who only hits who only Vogelbach. hits balls and strikes Daniel out? Daniel Vogelbach. He's so annoying. <laughs> I can't stand that guy. I was watching a spring training game and I seen him hit a home run. I he was like, bro, haters, bro. He, he looks like straight like beer and he like, looks like human Shrek, bro. Yeah, and he and he just uh, his swing isn't even like mechanically sound or fundamentally sound. He hits and, like he hits taters. He hits taters. Yeah, I don't play, it's, bro. it's annoying. Uh, nothing <laughs> makes me more mad than seeing Tim Tebow play baseball. Bro, he's still bro. He doesn't deserve it. If he wasn't Tim Tebow, he wouldn't be in the minors. He used yeah. his name. I he's hate still that. In, he's I, still in Double A. <laughs> I grew up like they a Tim Tebow fan. They put him in Triple A last year. Dana last year. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah. she was Ridiculous. Yes, I, just, it's I did like see him hit one. I saw him hit one one walk off home run live when he was in A ball. Because I was going I'm to so see sorry. My, I was going I'm to so see sorry you paid to see that. No, I was going Man. to see my buddy. Uh, he's in the Mets system. I was going to see his first uh, outing as a professional baseball player. So we saw his outing. He was a pitcher. And Tim so, Tebow. yeah, we, we walk over to, like, the, the bigger stadium. And he's like, he's like, oh, cool. I think Tim Tebow's playing today. I can get you guys in for free. So we're like, okay, cool. So we go in. We see Tim Tebow hit a walk-off home run. And then we went to, and then we went to Ale House. Like, great night. That's how every great story ends. We went to <laughs> Ale House. <laughs> uh, I miss Ale House. I don't. <sighs> I mean, too. I already bought it twice since I've been back. <laughs> Bro, honestly, bro, I missed every, I missed all the food in Florida. Jared, before you hopped on, I was telling Johnny how lame Connecticut is and how, I just, I <laughs> how just cold missed. it is. Yeah, honestly, bro, it was actually it was cold, but it was actually a, a, a hot winter up there. All right. 
It yeah, that's what I was saying. It wasn't like a bad winter. Like it wasn't. It only snowed bad once. That's, and, that's cool, and, and I almost crashed my car, but that's why I, I remember knew. you I said, said in picture like, bro, I can't see my car. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. All right, guys. I think we're going to end the podcast portion of this here. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Jarrett, Charlie, thank you for being here. And uh, we should be back, not next week, but the week after, for more baseball content on Take Me Out to the Podcast. And stay.